first to give Long Beach State credit, I thought uh, they had some really hard shots, especially early in the game, uh, which was probably good for us. You, if you can get it, be in a dog fight and win, it, it, you get a lot more out of it than if you uh, if you end up just blowing some team out that can't can't play uh, can't play basketball with you at all. So give them a lot of credit, though. Especially Chance Hunter hit some, some really hard shots. But uh, we got a lot of growth as a team to do. We're still trying to figure out who to play with who. Uh, trying to figure out roles on this team. And uh, not turn the ball over. So we had 42 in the second half because we only had four turnovers. So you can't rebound a turnover. You're not going to get fouled on a turnover. So when we don't turn the ball over, we got a chance to be a decent offensive team. I think we got a lot of guys nervous when it comes to shooting the ball, but that's to be expected. You know, the three guys that took the most shots by far on this team are gone. So it's just going to take us time to get to uh, find a rhythm offensively as a team, get get young guys comfortable. But uh, like I said, great win. Give Long Beach State credit. Uh, like I said, they hit a, they hit a lot of tough shots. Once we stopped giving them layups, we gave ourselves a chance to win the game. We gave up too many layups, so we're still nowhere near where we need to be defensively. Because we got to be a great defense and rebounding team early on until we can get get all the young guys comfortable and get them get get some cohesiveness uh, on the offensive end. And I'll, I'll add this for you guys with the questions. There's a hard game for our players to open up with because they play five different defenses. So it's a lot for a lot for young guys to, to deal with in an opening game. This, was that um, given what you had seen of these guys in practice? Did this kind of jive with what you thought you had with these guys? Well, I thought you know, okay, so we're so we're plus nine on the glass, uh, second chance points, difference in the game, fast break, so. A little bit, you know, uh, we've had in practice what we have is certain guy. We don't have a stand, standout guy. So we have different guys. And there's days Jaime Jaquez has been our best player in practice. Uh, there, so you can go down the list. We've had a lot of a lot of days where different guys have been the best player in practice. So offensively, we're going to have to make sure, you know, I think, you know, Cody in the low post is probably our best scoring option with a game, you know, with, with the situation. Uh, so he can finish with strength around the rim. He's got explosiveness. He's very tough. Um, you know, Ty, you got to remember, you know, Tiger's a really good player, but he's a, he's a young kid, man. He's never played college basketball before. And, and uh, I'm asking him to play a lot of minutes. So. He, you know, he's 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 going to have a great career. But just asking a lot of him right now. Coach Tiger Campbell played uh, the majority of the game. I think uh, 37 minutes uh, and some change. Uh, do you expect him to carry that much load? Or no, you that's have... too many. I think it's probably too many for him. Really, I think it's probably too many for any freshman. To be honest with you. Just the way the game was going tonight, I tried to rest him. It didn't go well when I rested him. So. But I'd, I'd like to get him around 32, to be honest with you. Mick, for you, how different was tonight? I mean, first, first game here. I mean, I know you had family in the stands, but your brother wasn't directly behind you, that's kind good, of giving that's you encouragement. Good thing, but just for you, how was the emotion and everything of tonight? Yeah, you, you know, I, I'm not, you guys know, I'm not the most sentimental guy. I have strengths. We all have strengths and weaknesses. So I'm, my strength is my weakness. So I'm, I'm pretty laser focused. I'm, uh, if it's not, it doesn't come to my daughter, I'm not the most sentimental guy in the world. So I'm just worried about coaching the game. And, um, it's just not the way I'm built, I guess. So I don't want to say like I, you know, you're blocking it out. I'm focused on the game. I just. That stuff really is stuff I don't think about a lot. I just don't. I, I know I'm, uh, I'm worried about the game. I know that we, we are not a finished product. You know, we, we don't have a guy. We, 
these guys are all in new roles on this team. You know, it's different than getting on the bus and then being the guy that gets on the bus and he's got to play well or his team's going to lose. So those are new seats for Prince to be in, Chris to be in, Cody to be in. They've never been in that seat before. So, like, you know, I know all that, so that's all I'm worried. I don't have time to worry about, you know, my first game. You said, you know, I, you know may, maybe if, you know, we were loaded and we were playing an outman team. I, I, I kind of expected this was going to be a battle. So I just, but I'm really not made that way. Not that I'm bragging about it. Sometimes I should probably be a little bit more sentimental. I don't even have like memorabilia in my house and bags and stuff like that. To, to kind of use a basketball cliche, it was this kind of a survive and advance kind of thing where this would, that would, you, you, you no, learn. I, I think that's got to be, first of all, I think it should be everyone. You know, like they had that champions. It, it, that doesn't matter. It's November 6th. You better, you got to get better in this game. It's the difference in our game and college football. You have to get better. Uh, and I think the only way you get better is to play a team that gives you resistance. They threw a lot of different defenses at us tonight, which was which was really hard for our guys to deal with at times. We could, and we did a much better job in the second half when the guys were in front of me, so I could kind of direct traffic, uh, which made it a, a very very tough opening game because of we have we're so inexperienced and they they play so many different defenses. So that and you know it, it, our, our defense. It's all new. Everything we're doing is new for these guys. And it's easy to pick things up if you're a veteran player in a new system. It's hard if you're a young player in a new system. So I just think you've got to be that way all the time. You know, you've got to just keep trying to get better. I mean, if, even if you're winning and people think you're great, if you're not getting better, you're going to go home at some point. Given, given all that, knowing that you have to get better, was there anything that surprised you tonight? Uh, not really. I was concerned. You know, I thought Sharif looked a little nervous. I was concerned for some of the young guys looking nervous. Um, I was worried about our turnovers. You know, this, that was an Achilles heel of this team last year. Uh, we, 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 we work on it really hard in practice. And the only reason we won the game was we limited our turnovers to four in the second half. But, you know, not, not really, you know, from an individual standpoint. Some of the things we struggle with are the things we struggle with in practice. Uh, what I was most probably disappointed in would have been we had defensive breakdowns that were inexcusable. And I'm not talking about their hard shots they hit. We, had, we gave up way too many layups, way too many layups, where our guards were just getting beat off the dribble. We got to do a much better job of that. But we'll do more things defensively as, as time goes on. Uh, there were some things that I, I would have done different defensively, but again, it's just trying to get, we'll be a totally different team with our press and the things that we do on defense as time goes on. You've talked about deflections being a, a significant stat for you and, and your target total per game. How close did you get to that tonight? 32, see, I always have it written right here. So 32 and Chris Smith and David Singleton are high guys with seven. <clears throat> with seven. So we, you know, we had 11 steals. So obviously, you know, we're, like I said, we're, until we can find a comfort level on offense um, and become a better execution team, we're going to have to scrap out Ws. We are, we do have size, we do have athleticism, so we have the ability to defend and rebound. And in time, we got to smooth things out on the offense again. But uh, yeah, we had 32 and we had 11 steals. <laughs> Was two quick two parts? Was it 32 your your goal? What was your goal? So with deflections, we're trying to always get 40. 40. You get 40 in a college game, you win 95 percent mm -hmm. of your games. And since you're a young guy, that goes it starts <laughs> way back with Hubie Brown. <laughs> that's also, a, that, that was that's a Hubie to Coach Patino. Yeah, I know. I know, I know that that tree. You know, you got your players spend a lot of time on the floor. I mean, you got your players spend a lot of time on the floor. They really got after it. Yeah, I was are proud. you happy with that? I mean, is yeah, that, very much so. Um, you know, hey, we're trying to build our culture about what we're about, you know, what we stand for. But I believe in the, I believe in the guys on this team. I've been through this. I went through this last year. We lost our opener to Ohio State. We were awful, awful. Five months later, we were cutting nets down in our conference tournament. So uh, when you lose, like, two, so last year, last year as a coach, I lost three, two guys at the NBA, one, one all-league player. When you lose three guys that shot the majority of the balls, 
and everybody's got to slide over a seat, and you got to rely on young guys. It takes some time to get their comfort level to where they're comfortable, to where they're confident. They know what they're looking at. The game slows down the more minutes they get. So, been through it before. So right now, my focus with these guys is hustle, toughness, togetherness. A lot of this stuff. And there's a reason we won it tonight. It sure wasn't you know, being pretty. Thank you, guys.